Hey everybody, and welcome to part 11 of Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus. In the last episode, we got three levels done. Down home cooking. Yeah, let's try it. Eh, chickens. I'm fine with chickens, don't know what they really do. With all the hay and feathers in here, just looking at this place has got me breaking out in hives. But we've got no choice. That ghost over there contacted me on Spectre Wave Radio, and we've cut a deal. He's promised us a key if you can whack 50 chickens. I guess he needs them to make a big pot of gumbo, but he's scared of the bob toten roosters. Be careful, or they'll blow you to bits. Think you can do it? Okay. Seems a little weird, don't you think? What's our time for? A minute and a half? Uh, I don't know how easy this is gonna be. Ah! Those are some weird looking cocks over there, man. Oh, they, they eventually give up. Okay. Oh no, and they eventually come back! It's like after you kill so many, you know? Well, I do have extra health for this, too, so luckily we don't have to worry too much about taking damage. Well, they blew up fast. You hear the ghost moaning in the background. There we go, we took damage, but we beat it. Mini game done. And my key. Excellent. That was three keys, so now we have six. We need one more key. And I believe we... No! Oh, god damn it! Can you stop? Dude. Like, why is he glitched into that? Oh, well. Good news is... <laughs> well, we can't deal with them. Now we need to go to Piranha Lake. Now, oh man, I'm down to one life. Okay, that's not Piranha Lake. Ugh. See, we've been to all of this so far. Hey there, buddy. Wait, can I, like... Why are this literally just in the same way, you know? Wait, this might be Piranha Lake back here. Piranha Lake is only one key. Nothing else here. Oh, is it a turret mis mission again? Sly, the only way to open up that voodoo gate is by lighting all 25 tiki torches with the flamethrower on your swamp skiff. Use the left analog stick to steer and press the X button to fire the flamethrower. Oh, and one more thing. You need fuel from the flamethrower and the only source of oil are those piranha you see swimming around. Run them down with a boat. One fish fuels one shot. Hurry, you only have two minutes to get all the torches lit. Oh, that's lovely to know. Woohoo! Oh, thought I had more. There we go. 
You can only have five shots at a time, though. Which is... Which is saddening. There we go. Just flame everything. God damn it. How did you miss that? There we go. I don't really get how these are tiki torches, but sure. Burninate everything by running over piranhas. Man, you think it'd be like just avoid piranhas, but it's not even just avoid piranhas. There. With four shots, we should be able to deal with the last of these tiki torches. We can find the last of them. There's one. Where's the other one? There it is. I love the music here, though. It's so hillbilly-ish. And that is my key! We honestly could have got all this done in one episode and made it just like 30 minutes, but I actually enjoy doing these. It's kind of like a nice break. Now we gotta go back to the... Not that spot, because it broke open. Where did it break open? Oh, right there. Now we gotta run all the way around here. for us it seems to go at a very constant pace wait did I just yeah I just looped around god damn it these enemies you cannot like cheat you can't just be like yo enemies I can come down and smash you no they see you yeah we need to get up onto this drum God fucking damn it. Like, the fact is that, that, oh my god, why? You know what, just, what I'm gonna do, oh, god damn it, I have to die somewhere else. I'm just gonna be like, yo, I might as well get the game over. Uh, wrong way. Go figure. I'm not here. You don't see anything, sir. Alright, well, let's unlock this. Wait. What? I thought I got all the keys here. I do have all the keys, so I guess we just jump on it. Sly tried jumping on the lid of that cauldron to build up steam pressure. I'm sure it'll work to launch you up into Ms. Ruby's skull temple. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, the enemies are gone. I didn't realize that. Woo, time to go to the skull temple. A deadly dance. Now, funny thing is, this is actually a dance. Hmm, I could feel that Koopa vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is... Blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flap, then let them flap. See you in the next world, Slack Hooper. 
Okay. This is like a giant jaw that's trying to eat us. It's like num num num. Get up there, Sly. What? Well, that was just bad. I didn't realize we could actually attack it. Good thing we don't have to go through the entire cutscene again. Sly, circle is meant for you to grab onto shit, okay? Thank you, sir. Everything in here is just giant teeth. Hey, we Come hit her. Back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant chumly escort you over here? All right. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well... I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get zapped. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. It, it can get annoying, though. Yeah. Oh. This is when you hope your controller is in good condition. What? Come on. Got to hate this controller sometimes. God, I gotta do it all over again. Why does it do that? Do you hear it go clunk when I push the circle button? It's like clunk. This is by far the most annoying boss in the entire game. Like, it's not necessarily that she's tough, it's just this thing is very sensitive. Okay, that worked. Yeah. Um! What was that game? Okay, you're, you're putting up a real fight here. Bring it, bitch. Dun 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 dun, all you do is fail. Oh yeah, let's try this again. Yeah, I just guess you can't push it too early. Or too late. That's also a thing. Square, circle, square. Circle, square, circle. Square, triangle, circle. Circle, triangle, square. Square. Triangle. Cir what? That was annoying. I don't know what that was, but... Sure. Um... What do I do? Oh. This is a little different. That's getting a little more difficult. It's like tit for tat, pretty much. 
<laughs> yeah, boo do. What? No! Come on, Sly. Oh no, and it starts back here. God damn it. Man, I hate this so much. So annoying, so annoying. Dun dun! No! Did you? I think it's because I keep failing that I actually get an extra hit there. Can I please play? Thank you. Oh no, not all this. You just gotta jump before it hits the platform. Or, or the pillar, whatever you're on. There we go. Ooh, extra health! What mind if I do with the extra health, man? Okay, so far so good. It's getting really slow. Oh man. There we go. Now what? A mosquito? Oh god, not this again. Uh-oh. Woo! Oh yeah. Uh. How much longer? Got her. Certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough, with a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Uh -huh. In this ruby section of the Thievius Raccoonus, held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Sweet beach vacation. So I guess in the next episode, we'll be going to China, guys. See you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe.